Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, your 2023 Ultimate Beef Loving Texan. Guys, I got another great recipe for you today. It's another beef recipe, and this beef is coming to us from Mesquite Country Beef. Hey, they're up in Grossbeck, Texas, tried one of their other cuts, a sirloin. It was very good, but today I've got a nice little tri-tip. We're gonna cook it up, so stick around so I can show you exactly how we get that done. This is Chef Johnny's Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by, and yes, I do have some more Texas beef for you. I think it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be a fairly quick cook because this is only a 16 ounce tri-tip, so it's a small one. Trim very, very well. Uh, just by looking at it, what I might say is, I might have left a little more fat on it. I think it's gonna be really good, so let's get it seasoned, get it out there on the kettle grill, and I'll show you how I cook it. This has a little bit of silver skin left. I think I'm gonna see if I can get some of that off of here. This is bigger piece here. Other than that, I think this thing is trimmed very, very closely. And a little bit of silver skin right there, but not much at all. This is really trimmed up. What well, little bit of fat is on here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Now, most of that will render out. There we go. Again, we're gonna scrunch this. Tri-tip's always thin on the end. This one's really thin. What I'm gonna do is, is put this away from the fire, just toward the fire. But I'm going to start off with just with some SPG. Then I'm going to go in with some cow cover. And a little Texas beef up on top of that. I really like doing tri-tips this way, guys. Flip it over. SPG. And we're just repeating the process, right? Cow cover. There we go, we're gonna let this sweat out a little bit. We're gonna go check our fire, we're gonna do a reverse sear. I got the slow and sear kettle going. Got some grill grates in there, so reverse sear. Put it over the fire at the end to get a nice good sear there. Let's see how this beef is from Mesquite Country Beef. I'm gonna get this tri-tip on here, guys. Just put some mesquite wood on there. That's what you're seeing smoking. So it's starting to smoke up. So we're gonna catch some really good smoke flavor, but I'm gonna scrunch up my meat, kind of get this away from the fire. It's in a cooler spot because it's so much smaller, but we're gonna let it go for a while. Take this up to that 120, 125. Then we're gonna put it on them grill grates and sear it off. So get this covered back up. See y'all in about eh, 35, 40 minutes. We're up to about 125 degrees. We're gonna get this off for just a second. I'm gonna let that fire get heated up a little bit. We're gonna drop it on there, put a quick sear on it, and then we're going to uh, get in there, let it rest and slice it. Now guys, um, you might sear it a little bit longer if it's not as high of a temperature. Mine right now, like I said, is pushing 130. If I would've got it off a little quicker, then we would have seared a little longer. I just want a short sear on it just to crisp it up some, but uh, it's still gonna be really good like this. Not a traditional way to cook a tri-tip. I know the, the purists out there in California will cuss me for reverse searing them, different ways I do it, but I'll tell you what, it's a very good cut. I like it really well, and I do like reverse searing them, so you might like it this way also, if you give it a try. Take this and drop it on there. Oh yeah. Got a nice little sear. Probably hear that. Not gonna go too long. Like I said, it's a little bit warmer than I want it to be. Short sear, so we don't get it too far overcooked. This little thinned end, that's going to my wife. She likes a medium, I don't, so therefore, she'll get the thin end. There we go on this side a little bit.
just enough. Let's get that off, we'll get it inside, let it rest, we'll give it a try. We're back inside, 10 minutes into it, guys. This is a beautiful piece of Texas beef. And remember, you can always find some great beef recipes at beeflovingtexans.com. Have some of my recipes on there now and a lot of other fantastic recipes, some how-to, some nutritional information. But the Texas Beef Council wants to help you to be able to cook beef better. So make sure you stop by and check out beeflovingtexans.com. We're going to slice into this tri-tip from, it's from a Mesquite Country Beef. We're going to slice into it, see how it turned out, and see what it tastes like. So let's give this a try. This is a pretty, pretty tri-tip. We're going to slice it right here. Let's open that up and look. Yeah, I overcooked it a little bit more maybe than I would want it. A little closer to that medium. Like I said, my wife loves medium. She's going to like it. I was scared I had done that. Just... This is, is a, I'm going to call it a very petite tri-tip. It's a one pound tri-tip. Not used to cooking them at one pound, but it is a pretty tri-tip. And as we go into the, oh, I'm slicing it the wrong direction too, not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm going to come in here and go this way. A thin slice across the grain. Okay. That's going to be better. That is looking pretty. Try this other one. Come in here. It's looking good. Like I said, a little bit more than I like it cooked, but it's still looking good. Give you this tri tip here. Cross the grain. It is looking pretty. liking that all right it's sliced up let's give it a sample this is a nice looking tri-tip remember it's trimmed very well very very little fat I mean very little fat they had trimmed it so well again one pound of petite tri-tips what we're gonna call it this one's a little more medium rare um, but so I'm gonna give it a try save the more closer to medium for my wife and guys remember what we seasoned it up with a little SPG from Cosmos, cow cover, and some Texas beef on top of that. But I bet you this is going to have some great, great flavor to it. Let's give it a try. That's good. Mm. Hard to beat this grass-fed beef, guys. It's just they're roaming around here in Texas, eating grass the way cows are supposed to, and we love some grass-fed Texas beef. Tremendous flavor. That mesquite wood I put in there added a nice smoke to it. My Cosmos, good season, not over seasoned at all. We're doing all right. A little bit more than I would have liked to have been cooked, but there are no complaints here, and it's going to eat tremendously, and I better stop eating. Thank you for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Hopefully on the next video, I'm going to have my voice back. This cedar fever has hit me harder this year than it has in probably in my life. I have been hoarse for over a month now. My allergies have been terrible. But I tell you what, I'm getting better, believe it or not. So excuse the scratchy voice. And hopefully it'll be better next time you see me. But thanks for stopping by. Tell your friends and family about us. Let them know we're cooking up a whole lot of Texas beef over here on Chef Johnny's Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you being here. We're going to see you all down the road. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.